Chapter 2221. Many friends sent messages on WeChat asking about Howard. She only talked about the important points and replied concisely before putting away her cell phone. When she arrived at the entrance of Hamilton Villa, she saw Joshua's figure in the distance. He was standing at the door as if he was waiting for someone. Seeing that her car had arrived, he looked up in this direction. Willow smiled. So this was the feeling of coming home late at night and having someone waiting for her. Perhaps this was the meaning behind the word, home. Comma. After Howard's true colors were exposed, Director Simpson handed the rest of the matter to the professional legal team. Willow also went invisible in this matter and stopped participating. However, she was quite popular now. Even those who had never watched her movies had a better impression of her when they heard her name. Chris quickly sent a new resource over. I want you to shoot the cover of Dreams magazine with the male lead of White Fox, Oscar, Chris said. Oscar has already agreed, but I've already asked them not to take intimate photos. Originally, this was a movie with two female leads. Oscar didn't have many scenes, so the magazine agreed that they did not have to take any intimate shots. This is the proposal and general process plan. Chris handed over the information. Willow nodded as she looked. There's probably no problem with this, but just look into it to be sure. If everything is okay, we'll shoot according to this. Okay, I'll respond. Chris returned after a while. He looked displeased. There must be something wrong with the people in dreams they were supposed to release the cover this month, but now they're telling me that they want me to postpone it for a month. Will there be any problems with postponing it for a month? Willow asked. The popularity of the movie will die down a month later. Let's not talk about that for the time being. If the reason is right, I don't think it's a problem to postpone it for a month. But I just found out that they want to postpone your shoot for a month because they plan to let Honey be the cover for this month. Willow was interested. Oh, Honey actually intercepted. She was supposed to be shooting for another magazine, but she thought that it wasn't as popular as Dreams, so she snatched the job. When Willow heard this, she knocked on the table. Then let me think about how to shoot the magazine this time. Comma. On Honey's side, the magazine she had originally booked was World's Garden of Scenery. It was a second-tier brand. For someone of her status, it was neither high nor low. It was just right. However, when she heard that Willow had gotten a first-tier brand, Dreams, she immediately asked Maggie to change it for her. She was also one of the two female leads of the movie. There was no reason for Willow to be on the cover of a magazine that was one level higher. This was their first magazine shoot after the movie was released. Even if she had to lose to someone, she would not lose to Willow. Now, the manager was coordinating. She waited for the results. When Maggie returned, Honey asked, how is it? Initially, the editor-in-chief of Dreams refused to change, insisting that Willow had to be on the cover. But later, when President Lewis heard that she was a loyal supporter of Ocean, he promised her a haute couture dress. She was tempted. It's good that President Lewis stepped in. Honey smiled and said, of course, Brother Drake dotes on me. However, Ocean has already been returned to Willow. She personally made all the haute couture dresses in the past. But the editor-in-chief doesn't know that. Willow hasn't made it public either. Honey, your craftsmanship is also very good. You can make a haute couture dress for her. That's true. Honey stopped worrying. Go and tell World's Garden of Scenery that I'm not shooting for them anymore. By the way, take back the proposal we gave them. Oscar received news that he was going to shoot the cover of Dreams with Honey. Why did you change it at the last minute? Oscar was surprised. What about Willow? I'm not sure about that. Let's just cooperate no matter who it is. Oscar's manager knew his place and didn't care about what he couldn't control. Oscar thought for a moment and said, then why don't we reject it? Oscar, think carefully. This is a first-tier magazine. If you don't shoot with Honey, who knows when the next opportunity will come. Honey has a boyfriend. If I shoot with her, I'll be in trouble. When the time comes, I'll be scolded badly by her fans. Drake already has fans. I think it's better not to provoke them. 
At this point, Oscar's manager said, then should we communicate with Willow so that you can shoot with her? Forget it. Find me a solo shoot next time. I don't want to take advantage of Willow's popularity either. You don't want to take advantage of anything. When will you become popular? The manager expected better from him. However, since Oscar had already made up his mind, he would not say anything else. Comma. In the editorial department of Dreams. Everyone was prepared to shoot Willow today. There were also a few fans of Willow in the newsroom. They had been waiting for Willow to come over so that they could take a photo with her and get her autograph. Do you know that Willow is a very good person? She tries her best to satisfy her fans' requests. Yes, yes. The last time I saw her with the fan club, she kept thanking us and telling us to be careful when we went home. This is the love between the fans and Sister Willow. Everyone, pack up. We won't be shooting Willow today. Someone came in and said, we'll shoot honey. What's going on? There's been a change. Willow isn't coming anymore. Change all the props. Honey brought her own proposal over. The fans waiting were very disappointed. When they heard that the props weren't going to be used, they were even more disappointed. The filming location was carefully prepared by everyone. Now, everything had to be changed, and many equipment had to be moved. The staff members carrying the things were also a little resentful. I heard that Willow acted like a big shot and called off today's filming. She said that she's going to participate in a more important event. Really? That's not nice. It'll be a waste of our filming resources. She doesn't respect our work either. If celebrities are humans, are we not? I really hate Willow. These gossips were all started by Maggie. After all, Honey had intercepted Willow's cover this time. It would definitely not be good if word got out, so she released the news first. Chapter 2222 The rumors said that Willow was acting like a big shot and refused to come, which was why Honey had no choice but to replace her. This way, even if the people were upset, they wouldn't be able to scold Honey. When Maggie and Honey arrived at the event location and heard the complaints of these staff members, they knew that they had made the right decision. Otherwise, Honey would be the one complaining. Honey, let's go in and shoot. Maggie walked in front and led Honey in. After Honey entered, she heard that the male lead of White Fox, Oscar, was no longer shooting the cover. Did he say why? Honey asked. Maggie shook her head and said, his manager said that he had something to do at the last minute and couldn't take time out. I don't know the details, but I'm sure he won't be filming with Willow. Forget it. It's not like I can't do it alone even if he doesn't come. Honey originally didn't want Willow and Oscar to film together and divert the attention, so she tried all means to snatch this job. Since Oscar wasn't coming and he wasn't filming with Willow either, it didn't matter. The staff hurriedly packed their things and received the two of them. At the same time, Dreams's fans who were not Willow's fans had already started to complain online that Willow was acting like a big shot who refused to shoot the cover. For a moment, there were endless rumors about Willow acting like a big shot. Comma. In the editorial department of World's Garden of Scenery. As a B-list magazine, everyone was very happy to be able to meet Honey, a popular movie star. Everyone was ready for today's shoot. Have you got all the props? They're all here. Is the background wall ready? Are the lights set? There's no problem. Is the cameraman in position? Yes, he's in position. Okay, let's do one last check. We can't make any mistakes. Okay. Everyone busied themselves to give everything one final check. This was the last check before the artiste came. In order not to waste the artiste's time, everyone was very serious. Honey isn't coming anymore. Someone rushed in to inform them with a worried expression. Not only is she not coming to shoot anymore, but she's also taking away all the ideas and planning for the shoot. Why is this happening? That's right. Didn't we already agree on it? Then can we get off work today? Everyone had been busy for so long, waiting to get off work. When they heard the news, they could not help but wail. The chief editor walked in. Everyone looked at her, waiting for her to make arrangements. Everyone, calm down. Honey really can't come today. Also, it was Honey's team that came up with the idea and plan. 
Now that they've taken away everything, we can't say anything, the chief editor said calmly. Everyone, let's think about how to proceed with the shoot today. That's right. If we don't shoot today, our magazine won't be able to meet the date of release. It'll take time to edit the photos, finalize them, and publish the sample magazine. The chief editor said, I'll contact the candidates. You guys do the planning first. Everyone knew that the chief editor would definitely be able to find an artiste with a suitable schedule. After all, even though World's Garden of Scenery was not top-notch, it could be considered famous. However, they did not know who the artiste was now. How could they plan? Every plan had to be done according to the characteristics and personalities of the artiste. Everyone looked at each other and wailed in their hearts. They would definitely have to work overtime tonight. Not only did they have to work overtime, but they would probably have to work until late at night. Everyone was filled with resentment. Why did they encounter someone like Honey? No, I have to complain about it on the internet. Someone immediately said. The chief editor was also urgently contacting celebrities to see if they were free. She had a lot of opinions about Honey's team, but she couldn't say anything now. The most important thing now was to solve the problem first. Suddenly, the chief editor's assistant ran over and said, Chief editor, Willow is here. Really? Where is she? Chief editor Riss immediately stood up. The door of the newsroom was wide open, and Willow and Chris were already at the door. Can we come in? Willow's voice sounded. Please come in. Chief editor Riss stepped forward politely. Chief editor, I'm Willow. I originally planned to shoot the cover of Dreams, but unfortunately, I was intercepted at the last minute. I believe you must be facing the same problem, so I want to come over and ask if it's okay for me to shoot the cover of World's Garden of Scenery. Of course. Thank you so much. Chief Editor Riss had also sent Chris an invitation previously. However, Chris politely refused, telling her that Willow had already made an agreement with Dreams, so perhaps they could collaborate next time. She did not expect this opportunity to come so soon. You don't have to thank me. We're just helping each other. Anyway, I don't have anything else to do today. Since I have time, I'll definitely be willing to shoot, Willow said calmly. As soon as she walked in, there was dead silence. Her skin was translucent and fair. Today, she was wearing a dark green dress, which made her look even more flawless. However, she looked cold and independent. Even so, when she spoke, they no longer felt that she was cold. She was polite and respectful to others, forming a particularly strong contrast with her appearance. Only then did everyone realize that Willow was really standing in front of them. This was Willow, who appeared on the big screen. She rushed over to save the situation today. It was as if there was holy light in her, adding another layer of charm to her soul-stirring beauty. However, we need you to wait a while. We need some time to come up with a plan, Chief Editor Riss said apologetically. I know. Honey took the proposal away. However, I have my own. Chief Editor Riss, do you want to take a look? Okay, sure. Chief Editor Riss immediately agreed. Chris immediately took out the information and props he had brought. After reading the plan, Chief Editor Riss nodded repeatedly. Okay, let's shoot according to this. Under the sun, on the grass. Willow was wearing a pure fox fur coat that revealed her slender ankles and wrists. The makeup on her face was very light, almost without any makeup. However, there was an extremely charming look in her eyes. She embodied the gentleness and cunningness of a fox, and the fox fur completed the look. However, the extreme light makeup made her appear innocent and clear, like a cute fox. Chapter 2223 Willow's performance was very good. Without needing the cameraman to say anything, she put on a proper expression and generously began posing. After filming this set of photos, the editorial department came up with a new plan. After Willow's selection, she chose a few more sets of clothes to shoot. Due to Willow's professional performance, today's shoot went very smoothly. Although filming started a little late, it ended earlier than everyone had expected. Everyone in the editorial department was watching the shoot today. Almost everyone had become Willow's fans. 
After the shoot, Willow changed into her own clothes and came out. She saw everyone sticking their heads out to look around. Willow smiled generously and said, Do you want to take a photo with me? The young lady standing opposite her was an intern editor. She was afraid of causing trouble for the magazine company, so she did not dare to take the initiative to come over. When she heard Willow's words, she quickly nodded. Come on. Although Willow had a cold personality, as long as she was willing to show kindness, people would feel that they could be close to her. With the young lady leading the way, the others in the editorial department also rushed over. I have 10 minutes. I can give you my autograph after taking photos. Sure, sure. Hearing this, everyone hurriedly took out the pen and paper in their hands. When Willow was giving her autograph to the young lady, the latter asked in a low voice, Can you dedicate it to me? Sure. Tell me your name. My name is Mina Riss. This is my first year of work. I haven't become a full-time employee yet. I hope you can wish me success so that I can pass my internship. If it's too troublesome, you can just write something short. It's no trouble. Willow picked up her pen and wrote down her blessings. Mina was overjoyed. Thank you. After giving everyone her autograph, Willow turned around and left. Chris waited for her to get into the car before saying with a smile, celebrities have to be cold to make their fans more loyal. It's up to you, sister-in-law. You're not the type to hype yourself up anyway. At night, World's Garden of Scenery posted a few Weibo posts about Willow. They posted photos and videos taken of her to gather excitement for the next issue of the magazine. The shoot this time was very good. The cameraman did not need to edit the photos much. Once he changed the filter, the photos were perfect. Willow's appearance could withstand the close-up shots, so there was naturally no problem with the shoot. After the content was released, everyone could tell that the previous rumors of her acting like a big shot and refusing to shoot the cover of Dreams were fake. The fans' words were very reasonable. They said that Willow acted like a big shot and didn't shoot the cover of Dreams Don't You Know That Dreams is a first-tier magazine while World Garden is a second-tier magazine. Who would act like a big shot to such an extent? Many people agreed with this statement. The fans and general public argued and came to the unanimous conclusion that Honey had intercepted the job halfway and snatched Willow's job. The arguments and curses against Willow returned to Honey. The chief editor of World's Garden of Scenery also posted a photo on her Weibo. Willow is a very cooperative, punctual, and kind artiste. She deserves to be more popular. She's much better than some unprofessional artistes I've interacted with. These words were deliberately mocking Honey. Later on, the chief editor probably felt that it was a little too much and did not want to start a war, so she deleted the last sentence. However, Honey still saw it. What's wrong with her? Does she think she can be like this after being the chief editor for a long time? Honey knew at a glance that chief editor Riss was referring to her. Maggie advised, we did stand her up today. It's normal for her to want to vent her anger. Anyway, she said that and praised Willow, but she didn't dare to directly call out your name. She must feel exasperated. Honey asked, why hasn't Dreams released any photos or videos yet? Maggie had just asked Dreams, and Dreams said that they were still editing the content. They had also shown Maggie the unedited photos and videos. There were a lot of photos to edit, and some of the frames in the video had to be edited frame by frame. The workload was indeed a little heavy. Well, they said that if they want to strive for perfection, they have to edit the photos to make them look better. The photos will be out tomorrow night at the latest. What kind of speed is this? A first-tier magazine can't even compare to a second-tier magazine. I'll try my best to rush them again. Perhaps their efficiency is compromised because there was a last-minute change today. Maggie didn't dare to tell Honey the truth, afraid that Honey would fall out with her. Actually, every artiste had flaws. Their photos needed to be edited. The artistes themselves knew this very well. Editing her flaws was a test of the staff's skills in the later stages. Usually, it was normal for photos to be released in a day or two or even a week. In the past, Honey was also very used to this timeline, but she was going against Willow this time. She could complete a photo shoot in record-breaking time. 
There was basically no need to edit her photos either. The staff just needed to edit the background. Naturally, the other party was fast to release content. Willow Speed naturally made all the processes on Honey's side very slow. Comma. In dreams, the photos were being edited urgently. The chief editor also urged everyone to work overtime. They couldn't let a B-list magazine like World's Garden of Scenery release the photos and videos from their shoot while their own company hadn't. It really didn't make sense. As the chief editor, her KPI was also very strict. She had to maintain a good relationship with the artists and get more sponsorships for the magazine. Maintaining the magazine's good operations was her performance indicator. As a first-tier magazine, Dreams's competitors were not only other first-tier magazines but also second-tier magazines. She was under a lot of pressure. Everyone, you must work overtime tonight. Otherwise, we won't be able to publish any photos tomorrow night, the chief editor said to everyone. Everyone replied helplessly. Seeing that the chief editor was still busy, no one had any complaints. The chief editor was communicating with the advertisers. Nowadays, those who were willing to put advertisements in magazines were fashion brands as well as jewelry, skincare, and cosmetic brands. The more famous the artists they invited, the more expensive the advertisement fees would be. Chapter 2224 The artiste we invited this time is one of the two female leads of White Fox, Honey. She's a new talent. She has tens of millions of fans and a huge amount of popularity, the chief editor said to the other party over the phone. When they heard that it was Honey, the advertisers were also very happy and sent out their advertisements. At the same time, the pressure on World's Garden of Scenery was even greater than that on Dreams. Although they had invited Willow this time, they were still a Sakantire magazine. When many advertisers heard this name, they shook their heads repeatedly. Our current project plan is for a first-tier magazine. As everyone knows, fans of artists are more willing to spend money on first-tier magazines. The readership and publicity rate of the advertisements in first-tier magazines are obviously higher than that of second-tier magazines. I'm sorry, but we really don't have such plans for the time being. Chief Editor Riss was neither angry nor discouraged. She continued to make calls. Some people were unwilling to invest, but there were also people who were willing to. After all, although second-tier magazines were not as good as first-tier magazines, their fees were also cheaper than first-tier magazines. The intern editor, Mina, walked over and said, Chief Editor Riss, we took a lot of photos of Willow this time. We've been choosing for a long time, but they all look good. I think we should prepare a small supplementary magazine for Willow's fans. Have you calculated the cost of including the supplementary magazine? The chief editor asked. I've done my calculations. As long as a small advertiser is willing to advertise on the last page of the supplementary magazine, it'll equal the cost, Mina said. Chief editor Riss glanced at her. In that case, we indeed don't need to bear the extra costs. But Mina, we need to bear the time and work costs. Since you're bringing this up, you have to be prepared to work overtime. Can you do it? I can do it. It's just a small supplementary magazine. I can just take out more time to do it. Mina immediately promised. Chief Editor Riss nodded. All right, give me the application form and I'll approve it for you. Mina immediately went to get the form. Chief Editor Riss smiled. This young lady was quite dedicated to her work and knew how to be grateful. She was indeed a rare talent. The reason why Mina was so concerned about Willow's matter was because she was a fan from before. Initially, she thought that she would never see Willow in her life. She definitely did not expect Willow to treat her so gently. This was the first time she had left home to work and suffered a lot. She was an intern at a magazine company where she was often ordered around by many celebrities and managers. Initially, she planned to quit after this month. However, meeting Willow motivated her. She liked this job to begin with, so why not? It was because there was really no need for others to change their ideals. Comma. Honey's photos were finally out. She was dressed according to the costume of the character in the movie. She wore ancient clothes and had her hair combed into a beautiful bun. 
She was also wearing a fox fur cloak. It was both classical and fashionable. Every photo looked exquisite and beautiful. The video was also released. It was very similar to her appearance in White Fox. Her fans were very satisfied. However, the other netizens felt that watching this video was no different from watching the highlights of White Fox. They did not have any desire to buy the magazine. The photos also seemed dull, which was a little different from Dreams's usual style. If passers-by were to see the magazine, they naturally wouldn't pay for it. In compares on, Willow, who also wore a fox fur coat, looked very unique. Her wrists and ankles were exposed, making one's imagination run wild. There were no key points in the photos, but one could feel the charm of a fox. Pureness and desire intertwined. Any passerby would be willing to pay for her magazine. After the link to the pre-sales of this issue of World's Garden of Scenery was released, fans and passersby bought a copy. The sales exceeded 50,000 copies. On Honey's side, there were only 10,000 sales. Maggie called Drake. Drake said, as usual, buy 30,000 copies and send them directly to my company's warehouse. Okay, President Lewis. After hanging up, Maggie went to place the order. After seeing the gap between the sales of her magazine and Willow's, Honey was not too bothered by others saying that her photos were ordinary. Comma. Willow had never paid attention to magazine sales. Besides, there was something more important now. Roxanne was standing in front of her, not able to hide her excitement. Our batch of fur clothing is about to be released. Although it's only summer now, we have to do things as soon as possible. The real sales should be up by winter. Is this what you developed before? Willow asked. Yes, yes. The design was done by the two designers hired by our studio. You've seen the previous finished product. It's the one you wore when you filmed World's Garden of Scenery. Look at the quality. Willow reached out and touched it. The fur was very delicate, and it felt real. She nodded. Okay, let's find a chance to promote it. Fur Festival and Winter Clothing Festival should be happening soon. Pay attention to the news. Okay. This was Roxanne's first time being in charge of such a big project. She was nervous and excited. In comparison, Willow was much calmer. She had been in charge of the clothing production in the Presgrave family and Fusion before, so she was already familiar with the work. Roxanne, I'll leave everything to you this time. Are you confident? Roxanne nodded heavily. Right on the heels of that, Roxanne started getting busy. As this was a new project, it currently lacked popularity in the market. It was not easy to promote the product. Roxanne was already mentally prepared. Even when she encountered difficulties, she did not avoid them. She still conscientiously found suitable businesses to work with. The data she reported to Willow got better and better. Very good. Don't work too hard. When I first started working on a project, I was inferior to you, Willow said to her over the phone. I just want to take this opportunity to build a solid market. I'm afraid that if I miss the chance, I'll miss it forever. Your current data is already very good. What many good projects lack is an opportunity at the right time and place. This is not something that can be controlled and interfered with, Willow said calmly. If you can't force it even if you work hard, you might as well let nature take its course. Roxanne nodded. I understand. I'll work hard. Chapter 2225. Willow didn't continue to persuade her. After the previous professional crisis, Roxanne was full of motivation now. She would just let her be. On Weibo, a Weibo post quietly became a trending topic. An event started by people in Europe, the United States, and other countries to protect animals and protest killing wild animals was slowly spreading to other countries. Every year, countless wild animals were hunted and killed for the benefit of humans. In order to catch all kinds of marine creatures, they would only take a small portion of them and throw them back to the sea. In order to make accessories, people hunted and killed elephants. The tusks they obtained caused a survival crisis for elephants. Apart from highlighting wealth, the effects of various fur products were no different from ordinary coats and down jackets. However, the production of these made countless wild animals suffer. 
The killing and death of these animals had all kinds of effects on the ecological balance and the food chain, causing huge problems in the natural environment. These problems had become unsolvable and might even threaten the survival of humans. Cute photos of innocent animals before they were killed and photos of them struggling during their deaths were circulating around. They pierced the hearts of countless people. As this event unfolded, many people in the country began to respond. Don't destroy our good friends in nature for your own selfish reasons. Humans and animals should live in peace. To love animals is to love the environment we rely on to survive. These statements were reposted by many people. Gradually, some celebrities joined the appeal. When Willow saw the news and photos, she couldn't help but frown. When little Daniel saw this, he asked, Mommy, what's going on? Seeing that little Daniel did not understand the problem, Willow took this opportunity to communicate with him. Little Daniel clenched his fists. I don't want to eat shark fin anymore, nor do I want to use ivory products. There are so many delicious things, so it's fine if we don't eat some foods. Ivory products aren't a must either. Okay, I understand. Little Daniel turned around and ran upstairs. A moment later, he came back down. Mommy, I drew two paintings. I want to protect wild animals and love our environment. Little Daniel's paintings were very abstract, but the various lines were very appropriate. Seeing that she was pointing at one of them, little Daniel nodded happily. Usually, no one would recognize the things he drew or painted, but his mommy was so amazing that she could tell at a glance. Is this Elliot? She asked, pointing at another identical figure. That's right. I'll ask him to love and care for animals too. Okay, little Daniel, you're the best. If he didn't look exactly like me, I wouldn't want to paint him exactly like me. Willow pursed her lips and smiled. Well, it's fate that you two look exactly the same. Little Daniel smiled shyly. Can I take a photo of them and post them on Weibo? Willow really liked these two paintings. On the other hand, she secretly wanted to show off her son. Speaking of which, it was not easy for her to hold back from showing off for so long with such cute and obedient sons. Sure. Little Daniel leaned on her shoulder. I really want to appear on Mommy's social network too. Willow patted his little head and took a photo of his paintings. Then, she posted the photos on Weibo and participated in the activities on the internet. In the office, Joshua saw his cell phone vibrate. At Willow has posted on Weibo. He clicked on it and saw that Willow was participating in the recent public event. There were also two photos. Looking at the two photos, he knew that they were drawn by little Daniel. They were little Daniel's style. A smile appeared on Joshua's lips, then he shook his head. He hadn't even appeared on her social media accounts yet, but little Daniel had already made an appearance. It seemed that there was something he could not do. After Willow made the post, she quickly became a trending topic. Because of her intentions, she gave others a good impression. The comments all praised her. As the campaign progressed, other voices began to appear on her Weibo. Willow even wore a fur coat to participate in the shoot of World's Garden of Scenery. Now, she's here to participate in an event to protect wild animals to gain popularity. Isn't this inappropriate? Photo attached .jpg. The photo was the cover photo released by World's Garden of Scenery. Willow was wearing fox fur from head to toe. It was very exquisite and did not have any other colors. How much fox fur does it take to make such a fur coat? Judging from the texture, this must be the fur of an arctic fox, right? These women in the entertainment industry are simply shameless. They're just bitches. Willow's behavior is too horrendous. She looks so beautiful in the cover photo. Who knew that it would be like this? Stupid woman, go back to school first. Once you're educated, you can come out and earn money. Get out of the industry, Willow. Or you can wear it in a low-key manner. If you want to participate in an event, don't wear it. This is really too disgusting. At the same time, eight photos of Honey wearing a fur coat were also exposed. Actually, many other artists had also worn fur coats, but because it had been a long time or because they were not popular enough, there were relatively few people who scolded them. 
Willow and Honey were currently very popular and had received the most scolding. Not only that, but the two magazines were also scolded badly. On Weibo, the chief editors and the magazines received almost the same amount of insults. Of course, Willow and World's Garden of Scenery had it even worse. After all, Honey had yet to participate in the event, and Willow was being called a bitch for her actions. Honey was discussing countermeasures with Drake and Maggie. Honey was anxious. What did Willow say? She hasn't responded yet, Maggie said. We don't know what her team will say at the moment. Drake said, I'll call the chief editor of Dreams first. After the call went through, the chief editor was obviously speechless about this matter. Why don't we change the cover of the photo? The one with the fur coat won't be used. Chapter 2226. Sure, Drake said. President Lewis, the fur coat is really expensive, right? Drake tacitly agreed. President Lewis, I suggest that you apologize. The chief editor could not withstand the pressure anymore. After this incident today, half of the advertisers who were originally booked have withdrawn. Everyone is afraid of being involved in such a matter. This is considered a public matter. Drake pondered for a moment. Let me think about it first. President Lewis, you have to grasp the timing to resolve the risk. After Drake hung up the phone, he said to Maggie, make an announcement and apologize to the outside world. Say that the team chose the fur coat and the stylist matched it. Honey thought that it was an artificial fur coat and didn't know about it, so she put it on. Moreover, we'll donate the fur coat to a museum or research institute for public use. This fur coat was made from the fur of Arctic foxes. It was very heavy and luxurious. Back then, Drake spent millions to buy it for Honey as a gift. She had only worn it twice. This time, she specially brought it to a magazine shoot to wear it. On the one hand, she wanted to show off, and on the other hand, she wanted to show off their love. Who knew that she would be so unlucky? Now, she couldn't keep the coat and even had to apologize. She was really unlucky. Maggie moved quickly and posted an apology statement. She clarified Honey's stance and pushed all the blame to the studio. The criticisms against Honey from the outside world decreased a lot. Dreams also quickly deleted the photos of her wearing a fox fur coat and replaced them with other photos, barely saving the magazine's reputation. At the same time, they admitted their mistake and promised not to make similar mistakes in the future. Comma. On the other hand, Mina also saw the news on Weibo. Oh no. She immediately stood up and ran into Chief Editor Rissa's office without knocking. Chief Editor, bad news for Willow. What's wrong? I already know the news. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Seeing that she was also doing her job, Chief Editor Riss did not scold her. Instead, she said, forget it. Go back and continue working. What about those photos? We're all being scolded so badly now. Willow is even losing followers on Weibo. I've been in touch with her manager. Until their side responds, you all go about your business first. Mina had no choice but to leave first. She didn't have Willow's contact information either. Of course, even if she did, she might not be able to communicate with her directly. Now, she could only feel anxious. Seeing that Honey's crisis had been resolved and those people no longer scolded her, the number of people scolding Willow doubled. Mina had no choice but to turn off Weibo. Out of sight, out of mind. Actually, Willow had already seen the situation on Weibo, but she was still confirming and communicating with Chris, so she had yet to respond. As she was thinking, a call came in. Seeing Drake's name, she had a headache and pressed it. However, the other party did not give up and kept calling. Sister-in-law, I think you should answer it first. Willow had no choice but to answer it. Willow, have you seen the news on Weibo? Why haven't you stepped forward to explain? Drake asked. My studio has its own arrangements. What arrangements? Drake was burning with anxiety. After resolving Honey's matter, he immediately remembered that Willow had not resolved her issue yet. However, he did not know the exact situation on Willow's side, so it was useless to be anxious. President Lewis, I don't think I need to report my arrangements to you, right? Drake. 
Drake said, Willow, I'm just concerned about you. Don't always be so harsh. Do you know the seriousness of this matter? To a certain extent, it's precisely because you wore a fur coat and reposted that event that all the artistes are in danger. Even Honey was implicated by you. And, are you here to denounce me? That's not what I meant. I just want to tell you that you need to solve the problem right away. Do you understand? Don't be willful. You don't have to tell me that. I have my own plans. By the way, don't call me. It's really a waste of my time. She hung up. Hearing the busy tone on the phone, Drake felt lost and angry. How could Willow do this? Honey did not want Drake to interfere in this matter to begin with. Seeing that Willow had made him miserable again, she felt happy. Brother Drake, I knew it. Sister definitely won't listen to us. She's used to being stubborn. Unlike me, who's willing to listen to everything you say? Drake's heart, which had been dealt a blow, came back to life with Honey's words. Looking at the gentle woman in front of him, he finally felt satisfied. I'm just afraid that she'll always be like this. It's fine if she implicates herself, but she even lets us suffer with her reputation. I understand your painstaking efforts, but sister will never understand. Drake hugged her. Forget it. Let her suffer a little and learn her lesson. Honey was already waiting to see Willow make a fool of herself. After this incident, even a second-tier magazine like World's Garden of Scenery would not dare to use her again, right? Chris sat opposite Willow and confirmed again, so, is this really artificial fur? He touched the soft fur. It felt as if it was real. Roxanne's new work is not bad, right? Willow said. It's very good. Sister-in-law, are you selling this now? When the time comes, get Roxanne to give you one. Thank you, sister-in-law. Can I make the announcement now? Let's do it step by step. Roxanne, has the brand's official Weibo account been registered? Yes, show fur expert. Seeing that they were all ready, Chris used the studio's official Weibo account to make a statement. Willow was wearing the new artificial fur coat released this year. It's woven from natural grass and doesn't use any animal fur. Please take note. No one believed this statement. How is that possible? With that texture, it's obvious that it's real animal fur. That's right. I can't be wrong. I've seen a lot of them in the past. They're all like this. Honey has already apologized, but Willow is still stubborn and shameless. Who does she think she is? Willow is a liar, right? Hashtag Willow lies hash quickly became a trending topic, followed by the words, hot news. However, at this moment, Roxanne's official Weibo account appeared. Thank you, Willow, for wearing our new product. We're releasing a brand new clothing line that focuses on winter clothes. The artificial fur of this series is made of natural grass. It's gentle and soft. It's very comfortable for both the old and the young. Chapter 2227. Seeing this, the people who previously said that Willow was lying began to doubt themselves. Was it because the photos were edited well, or was the quality of the photos so good? At the same time, the official Weibo account of show fur expert released various materials. There were also various new designs for this year, some materials that Roxanne had gone to various malls to promote, and project instructions that confirmed that these were all artificially made. The post also confirmed that the coat Willow was wearing previously was provided to her by them. Willow didn't post on Weibo. She just reposted show fur expert's post. She had only reposted it, but her name had already become a trending topic, followed by the huge word, explosive. The fans heaved a sigh of relief and explained all kinds of things. At the same time, they asked the haters and netizens who had insulted Willow to apologize. The netizens were a little embarrassed. They never expected that the coat was really not made from real fur. However, the texture of the coat in the cover photo taken by Willow was several times better than Honey's Arctic Fox fur that was worth millions. The quality was also far better than Honey's authentic one. As long as the so-called, scandal, involves Willow, no one can spread rumors about it. Willow's matter only proves that nature is not all that great sometimes. Look, with the current technology, it's not necessarily bad to artificially make fur. 
Therefore, it confirms that there's no need to hurt animals. Isn't it good to use cheap and beautiful things from companies? That's right. For the sake of selfish desires, people kill wild animals and take what they want. However, those things are not as good as modern technology. Burning so much money is just to satisfy their vanity. Everyone, wake up. As this matter became more and more popular, Roxanne's new clothing collection also gained a lot of popularity. The attention on the brand soared. The brand's account was newly registered. It originally did not have a single follower, but tonight, the account gained 150,000 fans. 150,000 followers might not seem like much to celebrities in the entertainment industry, but it was really good number for a small brand. Besides, these were all real followers, not zombie accounts. With trembling hands, Roxanne opened the private message tab. There were more than a thousand messages. Some asked where to buy the clothes, some asked if they could work together, and some even asked where the shop was as they wanted to try on the clothes. She picked someone who looked sincere and replied with a few words. She hurriedly put her work email on the introduction page of her Weibo profile. In the future, if anyone wanted to seek cooperation, they could send an email directly. When the time came, there would be special staff to respond to them. She looked up at Willow and said, Willow, you said that if a person wants to succeed, they need an opportunity. I think my opportunity has come. Congratulations. Willow had already guessed the reason and smiled. After being scolded for an entire night, the criticisms had transformed into tangible benefits. It was not a waste of time. Chief Editor Riss had already received a lot of calls. Previously, there happened to be businesses that withdrew because of this matter. Now, there were still many vacancies. Chief Editor Riss was worried that she wouldn't be able to attract business. Now, advertisements were being sent to her door. Not only were they more high-end than before, but there were also too many to take in. She would have to worry about deciding which brands to pick. Chief Editor, we've received hundreds of emails asking for advertisements. Some businesses said that if there are no slots on the inside pages, the back page is fine too. Chief Editor Riss spread her hands. Tell them that there's no availability on the back page too. They said that if there's no availability on the back page, Willow can use their products in the photos on the inside pages. In addition, they want to get Willow to endorse their brands. When the time comes, the advertisements will be directly released to us. Chief Editor Riss smiled and said, OK, I'll contact Willow's manager directly. However, I can't guarantee that Willow will agree. Initially, Chief Editor Riss only felt that Willow was a smart and kind female artiste. As for the other aspects, she was similar to other artistes. Now that she thought about what Willow and her team had done, she realized that she had really underestimated Willow. Perhaps what she had was far from the word, smart. World's Garden of Scenery was so lucky to be able to work with her. Comma. After Willow clarified, Drake stood rooted to the ground, stunned. No wonder Willow didn't accept his suggestion at all and wasn't willing to solve the problem like them. It turned out that she, already had a strategy to deal with it. Did she plan all this? Drake thought about it carefully and knew that it was impossible. The event in Europe and America was not something that one or two people could control, nor could it casually cause waves. Willow didn't set up a trap. She was just taking advantage of these situations. He recalled that in the past, when Willow was working for Fusion and the Presgrave family, although she was young, she had always been able to take things easy. She could comfort various clients and convince her employees. Many people had praised her ability. At that time, he thought that it was because she had the Presgrave family and Fusion behind her. Everyone knew her identity and gave her some face, allowing her to be like a fish in water. Anyone else with such an identity could thrive as well. After all the things that had happened recently, he realized that he was wrong. Some things were completely different when it was someone else in charge. Willow, he muttered to himself. For a moment, his heart ached as if a piece of his heart had been gouged out. His heart was now empty and uncomfortable. President Lewis, bad news. Honey's emotions are very unstable. Go over and take a look. 
As soon as Maggie came over, she saw Drake standing at the staircase smoking with a sad expression. She was not surprised. So many things had happened tonight, and even she was extremely worried. How could Drake and Honey not worry? Just now, the chief editor of Dreams called and said that the cover of this issue might be replaced. After all, it has made it difficult for them to attract new businesses. This matter has had a great impact on them. Drake listened to Maggie's explanation and quickly walked to Honey's side. I'm sorry, Brother Drake. I didn't know that it would cause so many chain reactions. I felt so terrible when the people from Dreams called me. Chapter 2228 It's okay. The matter's already been resolved. Just be more careful in the future. I'm so scared. It's as if everyone doesn't want me anymore and is scolding. Me. Aren't I still by your side? Don't worry, Drake comforted her gently. Looking at her pitiful eyes, his heart ached. Honey had done nothing wrong. He had to treat her better. Honey cried and said, I've caused you so much trouble. No, don't think too much. Many decisions were made by the two of us together. It's just that we were unlucky this time. No one is right or wrong. After calming Honey down, he said to Maggie, isn't Fusion's headquarters going to release a few advertisements? Let them invest in dreams to make up for their losses. Okay, President Lewis. When Honey heard this, she smiled and said, Brother Drake, you're the best. Thank you for thinking about me. Drake looked at her in satisfaction and temporarily put down what he had been thinking about Willow. In comparison, Honey's gentleness and how she was easy to coax touched his heart more. Although Drake made up for Dreams's advertisement, he couldn't make up for Dreams's plummeting reputation in the market. When the employees were doing the internal report, they could tell from the authoritative data how unfavorable this matter was to the magazine. The quarterly meeting was held in advance. In the meeting, the managing editor said directly, the position of chief editor will be replaced by the assistant chief editor for the time being. You can busy yourself with other work for a while. I'll talk about the specific work in private later. The newly demoted chief editor rubbed her palms, knowing that this was a punishment for her. If she couldn't achieve good results in the future, she would completely lose her position as the chief editor. Because of this matter, World's Garden of Scenery went from a second-tier magazine to a quasi-first-tier magazine. Quasi-first-tier magazines were between first-tier and second-tier. Whether it could enter the first tier or continue to be in the second tier would depend on its subsequent operations. As a result, Chief Editor Riss was promoted and received the title of Deputy Managing Editor. Mina packed her things and was about to get off work when someone said to her, Chief Editor Riss is looking for you, Mina. Mina quickly went to Chief Editor Riss's office. Chief Editor Riss handed her an application report. Mina, you've become a full-time employee. You're at the P5 level. Sign it. Mina's eyes widened in disbelief. Is it really P5? Don't the employees who just become full-time employees join at P2 or P3? Yes, don't doubt it. You did a good job on Willow's Matter this time, especially the proposal of that small supplementary magazine. Her fans and brand are very satisfied. We used a very small cost to gain a lot of attention and reputation. Therefore, the headquarters specially commended you. Promoting you to P5 directly is a commendation to you. Thank you, Chief Editor Riss, and I have to thank the headquarters too. I'll definitely work hard in the future. Comma, Hamilton Villa. Patricia was sitting on the sofa, touching the fur in her hand. This is really better than the rare fox fur I bought back then. The thickness and comfort are very good. Grandma, this is a custom-made one for you. It's good that you like it, Willow said with a smile as she unfolded the coat for her. The design was graceful and elegant, and it was indeed in line with Patricia's identity. Little Daniel said, Great Grandma, why did you buy fox fur before? That's not good. I didn't know about it at that time. It happened a few years ago. I won't buy it anymore, Patricia said with a smile. Don't worry, little Daniel. Okay. Little Daniel nodded and obediently swung his legs as he sat on the sofa to eat fruits. Patricia continued to talk to Willow. Previously, when I saw the news on the internet, I was really worried about you. 
But after thinking about it, you have Joshua and Chris by your side. I don't have anything to worry about. Grandma, Willow is smart. She didn't rely on me, let alone Chris. Joshua brought tea and placed it beside Patricia's hand. Patricia couldn't help but laugh. You're exactly like your father. Willow had already heard about Joshua's parents several times. She asked curiously, Grandma, can I listen to Dad and Mom's stories? Okay, after lunch, I'll tell you all about them. She said kindly, in the past, I had a lot of prejudice against your profession, but Joshua's mother changed my mind. Now that I see you, it's even stronger proof. There are evils in every industry. Willow listened carefully. Joshua sat at the side and looked at the scene in front of him with a rare gentleness in his eyes. Comma. After Howard was convicted of infringement, the filming speed of Victoria's movie became even faster. Not long after, Willow's scenes were completed. Congratulations to Willow for wrapping up. Congratulations. Willow accepted everyone's blessings. The other actors still had some individual scenes to shoot, so Willow was the first to wrap up. Victoria walked over and said enviously, after you wrap up, you can take a leave. Sister Willow doesn't have time off. She still has a lot of things to do, Tiffany said. She'll be busy with her schedule from now on. What are you doing next? Willow said, I might have to go overseas. The copyright of White Fox has been sold. It's currently being screened. I might have to go over and do publicity work. Congratulations. This means that the quality of this movie can withstand the test of cultural differences. No wonder you're so busy, Victoria said with a smile. When you come back, we'll hold a wrap party. Okay. By the way, how's director Simpson's health recently? It's still the same. He can take a few slow steps, talk, and eat. Our entire family is already happy to see him in this state, Victoria said with a sigh. I never dreamed that such a day would come. Take your time. When illness comes, it's like a landslide. When it passes, it's slow. Victoria nodded. All right. Be careful when you go overseas. Comma. After returning to the studio, Tiffany began to pack work supplies and various clothes for Willow. They were preparing to go overseas. Willow, we might have to stay a few more days in Ivy City this time. Chris took out the itinerary and said, in addition to publicity work, you might have some endorsements too. No problem. What endorsements are they? Can I take up a lot of them? Willow asked with interest. Are you short of money? Chris asked curiously. Chapter 2229. I don't need to spend money on food and accommodation. I'm not short of money, but I'm only getting a little bit of remuneration for filming Victoria's movie. We have makeup artists, costume artists, assistants, publicity executives, and drivers in the studio. We have to pay them a salary every month. The studio has to pay rent as well as water and electricity bills. We also have to make arrangements for the outside world. Sometimes, we have to buy milk tea for my fans. The money for the fare and gas when I go out uses up money as well. All of this adds up to a lot. If I don't earn more money, how can I pay these bills? Chris wanted to clap. If only every artiste thought like you. So what's the situation with the endorsements this time? Because White Fox is a popular movie in Ivy City and its box office performance is very good at the moment, your, Honey's, and Oscar's reputations there have increased greatly. At the moment, four brands are considering looking for one of you three to be their spokesperson. One is a car brand, one is a mineral water brand, one is a skincare brand, and the last is a bracelet brand. What we can confirm is that these four brands are only looking for individual endorsers. They haven't decided who to look for. They probably want to see who's more popular and whose image and temperament are more compatible after you guys go over. Willow nodded. All right, let's fight for it if we can. We'll talk about it again if we can't. I'll try my best. Comma. There were about 10 people in the entire production team who were going to this overseas event. Apart from Willow, Honey, Oscar, and Veronica, there were also three other actors and a few assistant directors. Director Webb was not going. He was currently filming a new movie and really couldn't spare any time. As for the endorsement deals, everyone knew about them. 
Needless to say, the low-ranking actors were not even dreaming about them. The main competition was between Willow, Honey, and the others. Honey was very nervous about whether she could win the endorsements. During this period of time, she had repeatedly gotten into trouble. Not only had her income been greatly reduced, but her reputation and popularity had also fallen drastically. If she did not stand out to encourage her fans, their love for her would almost dissipate. Maggie, can you help me get these four endorsements? Honey asked. I'm not very sure. If we were in the country, it'd be fine, but I'm not familiar with the language of Ivy City. I'm not familiar with many things there, so. Honey paced anxiously. Have you found an interpreter? He's already waiting for us in Ivy City. When we go over, he'll meet us directly. No, even with an interpreter, we might not be able to get an endorsement. We still need strong cooperation. Honey, relax. Four brands are looking to get an endorsement this time. You might get at least one. Honey didn't want to get just one endorsement deal. The more, the better. Moreover, the gap between these four endorsements was too great. The best was a car, and the worst was mineral water. Who wanted to endorse mineral water? What she wanted the most was to be a spokesperson for a car brand. As long as she got this, it didn't matter if she didn't have anything else. As an agent, Maggie had tried her best. If it were any other company, the boss and manager might have stepped in. But now, the manager of Fusion was Honey, and the boss was Drake. As she was thinking, the office door was pushed open. President Lewis. Maggie was overjoyed. Honey was also surprised. Brother Drake, why are you here? I heard that you have something important to do in Ivy City this time. Yes. But don't you have very important work to do in the next two days? That's why I didn't ask Maggie to inform you. Since your matter is also very important, I can postpone mine. Maggie, arrange my schedule. Okay. Maggie immediately went out. Drake said to Honey, I'll go with you this time. I'll try my best to fight for the endorsement you want. Honey was so happy that her mind felt free. In terms of business cooperation, Drake was indeed better than ordinary agents. Moreover, he often went on business trips to Ivy City and was very familiar with the language there. With him around, she would surely be victorious. She was extremely excited. Brother Drake, I don't know what to say. Anyway, no matter where you go, I'll be with you. Okay. Honey was overjoyed. In the airport. Oscar, Veronica, and the others had already arrived. Only Honey and Willow were left. Honey and Drake appeared hand in hand. Maggie followed them with her assistant and the other staff members before finally appearing in front of everyone. Everyone greeted her. Seeing that Drake was also here, they could not help but say a few envious words. Honey responded to them one by one and glanced at Oscar. Oscar looked back at her calmly. Last time, Oscar didn't shoot the magazine cover with her and avoided a disaster at the right time. He wasn't implicated at all. Honey also remembered him because of this. Oscar quickly looked away from Honey. His agent expected better from him. This young man was really good at causing trouble. Everyone else was surrounding Honey and talking and laughing, but he refused to go up to her. Aren't you going to chat with her for a while? The manager asked. I don't want to. But that's Honey, if he had some connections with her, the issue of his popularity and resources would not be a problem. I didn't shoot the cover with her last time. Isn't that reason enough for me not to go up to her? Oscar asked. The manager was speechless and fell silent. One of the assistant directors raised his hand to look at the time and said, Sigh, we came early but the plane is late. We have to wait another hour. It's really too boring. That's right. Willow is wise. She took her time. I didn't sleep well to catch this flight. Hearing everyone's words, Honey said gently, how about this? Everyone, follow me to the VIP waiting room. But our tickets don't include the VIP waiting room. Brother Drake helped me book a slot in the VIP waiting room. It's quite boring for me to enjoy it alone. I'll get Brother Drake to book a slot for everyone. Let's go together. Honey had always been generous and was willing to use money to win over people's hearts. Drake was indeed very cooperative. He smiled and said, let's go together. 
It's my treat. I have a friend who suddenly contacted me and wants to meet me. I don't need a slot, Oscar raised his hand and said. Honey had long noticed that Oscar did not fit in. Even as the male lead, his presence was not much bigger than the staff. No wonder he was not popular anymore. Chapter 2230 Looking at his current situation, it was obvious that he was deliberately avoiding her again. His manager was giving him a look, his eyeballs nearly popping out of their sockets. Then I won't disturb you anymore. Go ahead. Honey didn't force him. Oscar asked his assistant to carry the suitcase and turn to leave. Veronica thought for a while and said, I have something to do too. You guys go ahead. Honey cursed in her heart, you don't know how to appreciate favors. The others were happy to walk with Honey. After all, they could drink tea, coffee, watch TV, and charge their phones in the VIP waiting room. This VIP waiting room at the airport even had massage and foot soak services. It was very enjoyable. If they could go there, why should they wait outside bitterly? All right, then come with me. Honey saw that there were more people who knew their place and smiled. Just as they were about to go to the VIP waiting room, Willow and Tiffany came over. Seeing Willow, Honey's smile could not help but be a little forced. Willow, you're finally here. We've been waiting for you for a long time. I calculated the time because I knew that the plane was late. You need to wait for the plane, not me, right? Honey just wanted to express that Willow was the last to arrive, but Willow's words cracked it for her. Honey could only change the topic. We're going to the VIP waiting room to rest. Do you want to go? I'll get Brother Drake to reserve a seat for you. I don't need it. You guys go ahead, Willow said calmly. Then we'll go over first. Honey led a group of people over. Seeing that Veronica was staying, Tiffany asked, why aren't you going? I think it's too stuffy over there and don't want to go anymore. I'll stay here with my manager for a breather, Veronica said. She didn't want to provoke Honey. Last time, when she was taking photos, she accidentally stepped on Honey's dress and was scolded by Honey's fans for seven days and seven nights. The fans even scolded her for wanting to step on Honey to climb up the ladder. Others scolded her studio on Weibo. She did not believe that Honey's team did not see it. Honey and the team did not restrain the fans because they probably felt that there was no need to offend the fans for her. As long as Veronica could stay away from Honey, she could avoid being scolded again. Then come with us, Willow invited. Okay. Veronica sat down beside them. A moment later, a man in a suit and leather shoes walked over. Miss Presgrave, I'm the account manager of the airport. Thank you for choosing to patronize our airport. I'll accompany you to the plane first. Okay, Willow said, indicating for Tiffany, Veronica, and her manager to follow along. Veronica was a little stunned. Didn't they say that the plane was delayed? Why could Willow board the plane ahead of schedule? Moreover, Willow looked very calm as if she was not flattered at all. This was normal for her. The person who came to pick them up was the account manager of the airport. The four of them took the VIP corridor and boarded the plane. There was no one on the plane at the moment. Willow and Tiffany walked toward the first class cabin. Veronica immediately said, we'll go to the back first. Her and her manager's tickets were provided by the organizers of Ivy City. They were just ordinary tickets. Tiffany said, there are many seats here. Sister Willow said that they're empty anyway. Come sit with us. The manager reacted quickly and pushed Veronica to follow. The manager said with a smile, thank you, Sister Willow. In this industry, connections were very important. All managers knew this very well. Many people had to create opportunities even if they didn't have the chance. This time, Veronica had such a good opportunity. How could the manager not seize it for her? Moreover, the manager could tell that although Willow looked cold on the outside, she was actually much easier to approach than Honey, who looked gentle but was actually constantly scheming. If the manager could choose to connect with Willow, he would naturally do so. Veronica walked into the first-class cabin and realized that it was exceptionally spacious. The four seats were facing each other from afar. It was very comfortable. 
Tiffany explained, we originally reserved this seat for the manager, but the manager didn't come with us. So you don't have to feel guilty. In order to let Sister Willow rest well, we won't give up the seats even if they're empty. But Sister Veronica and Sister Willow know each other, so it doesn't matter. Thank you, Veronica said. A moment later, the stewardess came over to deliver red wine, desserts, and blankets. The service was much better than ordinary first-class cabins. She asked for everyone's preferences in detail. They could even choose the brands they wanted for desserts and red wine. Everyone, do you want a head, shoulders, and neck massage? A stewardess came over and asked with a smile. Willow didn't want it, and neither did the others. The stewardess then proposed some things and services like a wash, a face wipe, a manicure, and a blow dryer. Veronica and her manager were a little surprised. They had never heard of such services. It was finally time for Honey and the rest to board the plane. They had just soaked their feet, so they were in a good mood. As the first passengers to board the plane, everyone enjoyed noble treatment. However, because these tickets were bought by the organizers of the event, everyone was to be seated in the economy class. It was still a five-hour trip to Ivy City. It was a little tiring to sit up. I've already called my friend to change our tickets to first class. Let's see if we can change everyone's tickets to first class later. Thank you, President Lewis. You're too generous. Drake smiled and shook his head. I can't guarantee it yet. Don't have too much hope. I understand. Honey hated economy class cabins. She didn't like the smell of the place, let alone the people coming and going. Previously, she had wanted to change to the first class cabin, but Maggie didn't find a seat even after refreshing the page several times, so she could only forget about it. But with Drake today, she felt hopeful again. Honey, you should sit down first, the person beside her called out to her. I'll take a look at the situation first. Honey believed that Drake could coordinate it, especially when she heard from the stewardess that there were two empty seats in the first class cabin. As long as she and brother Drake could get seats in the first class cabin, she wouldn't care about the others anymore. Seeing that she refused to sit, everyone could only sit down for the time being. After a while, Drake finally returned. There are really no seats. We can't be upgraded. Oh, Honey was a little disappointed. It's okay. Let's just make do here. It's only for a few hours. Chapter 2231 The other crew members chose the best seat for her. Honey, sit here. Drake sat down with her. The other passengers began to board the plane as well. Although Honey was not happy to sit here, she still felt some comfort when she thought that Willow and Veronica were not here yet. Unexpectedly, the cabin door was about to close, but Willow had yet to board. Honey couldn't tell if she was happy or not. Drake frowned and said, what about Willow? I wonder if she's not going. Honey shrugged. Drake wanted to call Willow, but at this moment, the plane had taken off and the stewardess had already started to ask everyone to turn off their cell phones. The other crew members were also wondering why Willow wasn't here. Willow and Veronica were sitting in the first-class cabin. They had been lying down and resting for a while. As artists, their resting time was unpredictable. It was rare for them to have such a peaceful time to sleep for a while. They had developed the habit of sleeping whenever possible. Willow slept for two hours before waking up. She took out her phone and saw that Oscar's manager had called her and sent her a message to remind her to board the plane. She replied, saying that she was already on the plane. The five-hour journey was a little unbearable for ordinary people. To the people in the first-class cabin, it was just a short while. In the next half an hour, Willow and Veronica washed their faces together and put on light makeup. The plane stopped, and they got off first. They took a special passageway this time as well. After going out, they boarded the huge van to go to the hotel. Honey and the others were a little late. Although they took the VIP route and enjoyed the special car arranged by the hotel, they were 40 minutes behind Willow and Veronica when they arrived at the hotel. Honey and the others entered the hotel. When they got their room cards, it was already late. Everyone admired her character and attitude. She was too considerate. They were at the hotel's front desk. 
Not far away was the lounge and coffee area. As soon as he dialed the number, a phone rang. He and Honey immediately looked over and saw Willow and Veronica sitting there with coffee in front of them. The two of them were drinking coffee leisurely. Seeing that the two of them were here, everyone heaved a sigh of relief. Perhaps they were sitting far away just now, so no one saw them. Honey, on the other hand, was very unhappy. She walked up to Willow and asked, Willow, where did you go just now? Do you know that everyone was worried about you? I don't think I need to report my schedule to you, do I? But everyone was waiting for you. Where did you go? At least tell us. Willow looked at her in amusement and put down the spoon used to stir the coffee. Veronica couldn't stand it anymore and was about to retort when Willow pressed her hand down, indicating that she didn't have to say anything. Veronica also realized that the gap between her and Honey was too big. It made no sense for her to face the woman head on. Willow said calmly, there's no rule that requires me to tell you, right? Didn't everyone bring their own plane tickets? You're not the organizer or the team leader. What give you the right to question me? No matter what I do, it has nothing to do with you. Everyone knew that she was right. Now that they thought about it, Honey was indeed being nosy. At the airport, Willow had said that she would manage things herself. It was just that everyone took advantage of Honey and vaguely treated her and Drake as the core figures of the team. They listened to everything they said. They tried to smooth things over. Forget it, forget it. No one did anything on purpose. Let's not say anything more. Honey felt embarrassed and turned to leave. Drake quickly followed her. Honey, you know Willow's temper. No one is able to control her. Don't be angry with her because of this. I just feel that it's really not worth it for my kindness to be misunderstood. All right, just ignore her in the future. I'll accompany you to the restaurant later and have dinner, okay? There's a five-star restaurant here. It's very good. Only then did Honey smile through her tears. Brother Drake, you're the best. Ivy City. This was the capital of Ivy City, and the atmosphere was not inferior to Sea City. The restaurant that Drake booked had always been very difficult to book. Before he came, he had asked a friend to book this place. The table they wanted was very good. It was by the window, and they could look down on the city at night. After Drake sat down, he gave the menu to Honey and explained the food on the menu in detail before ordering for her. Honey enjoyed his service and was radiant. Her unhappiness from the day disappeared. The two of them chatted as they ate. When they looked up, they saw a familiar figure of a man at a table not far away. His face was so handsome that it was extremely invasive. It's actually Joshua, Drake said in a low voice. There's also Chris and two other people. It seems that they're here to discuss business. They look very formal. Honey couldn't help but take a few more glances. The last time Drake lost face in front of Joshua, he was thrown out by Joshua's men in public. Now that he thought about it, he still felt a little humiliated. However, when he thought about how that man was Joshua, he felt helpless. It was the feeling of being stepped on by the heavens. If he wanted to take revenge on Joshua, it would be a childish attempt. Honey also saw his expression and said, let's leave after eating. Okay. After Joshua finished discussing business, the two clients opposite him stood up and left. Chris cut the steak on his plate and said helplessly, my parents are really something. They actually arranged for me to learn business from you. Don't they know that I'm doing the job I used to do? Did you learn anything? Oh, the steak here tonight is really delicious. It was obvious that Chris had not listened to their conversation seriously. As the saying goes, everyone has their own aspirations. Chapter 2232. Joshua interrupted him. Do you know what the most vulgar saying is? What is it? If you can't even stuff your mouth with steak, you might as well throw it away. Joshua placed his untouched steak in front of him. It was obvious that he did not want to hear him nag anymore. All right, all right. Go ahead with your work. I'll take good care of sister-in-law. Joshua raised his eyebrows. Chris felt that the man's gaze was like a knife and hurriedly explained, the care I'm talking about is different from what you think. 
comma, after resting for the night, there was a cocktail party the next night. At this cocktail party, one could come into contact with many people in the film industry and business world in Ivy City. One could even find out about those endorsements. For artists, remuneration was a major part of their income. However, the more famous an artiste was, the higher their expenses. Other benefits were also very important. Advertising endorsements were the most important. The cost of endorsements had always been high. Sometimes, it even exceeded the remuneration. Moreover, the greatest benefit of advertising was that the advertising company would post photos of celebrities in offline physical shops and advertisements for TV shows. This indirectly increased the national fame and influence of the artistes. When Honey woke up in the morning, she heard Drake say, I'll bring you to meet some friends from Ivy City first. They're all important guests at tonight's cocktail party. Honey's mood soared. Sure enough, with Drake accompanying her, it was twice the results with half the effort. The two of them packed up and went to the buffet area of the hotel, planning to leave after a simple breakfast. Willow and Veronica were sitting together eating breakfast. The other crew members were also there, and everyone was chatting. Some people planned to take the opportunity during the day to go around. Some wanted to see their friends, some wanted to take photos and send them back to the country, and some wanted to record a vlog. What about you, Willow? I don't have much to do today. I'll just rest in the hotel and read the script. You've already received a new script. Someone said enviously. Yes, more or less. Actually, she hadn't received any scripts. She was currently writing a script and had previously promised a certain big director. When she had nothing to do, she would write down her thoughts. Seeing Honey coming over, someone asked her, Honey, where are you going today? Sigh, I made a mistake. Honey is probably going on a date with her boyfriend today. Honey didn't want everyone to know that she was going to communicate with the other parties about the endorsement deals in advance. She said, that's right. We're going out to play and meet Brother Drake's friends. I really envy you. Willow looked up at Honey indifferently. Honey felt that when she looked at her, it was as if she had seen through her heart. It made her panic. She was panicking when she suddenly saw a familiar figure walk over. That man was Chris, who was once known as a top manager in the entertainment industry. He had nurtured countless A-list celebrities. He also had an excellent relationship with Miller Group and Joshua. All the artists in the entertainment industry wanted to sign a contract with him. Unfortunately, he had always been very picky with people and had a strict set of standards. Unless he wanted to, no one else could move his heart and become his artiste. He left the entertainment industry two years ago and had not taken care of newbies for a long time. Therefore, Honey had only fantasized about being his artiste before. Now that she saw him here, she could not help but feel amazed and surprised. Chris took the food and sat down in front of Willow. He said, this is what I'm gonna eat. Hearing him talk to Willow in such a familiar tone, the others in the production team were already used to it. Clearly, they had arrived a little earlier and had already recovered from their shock. Honey said in surprise, Mr. Hunt, you're. Veronica smiled and said, Mr. Hunt is Willow's manager. Ah, Honey muttered, unable to control her shock. She had never thought of this possibility. Willow established her own studio previously. She did not hide the fact that Chris was her manager from everyone. However, Honey had always been arrogant and did not think that there was any impressive staff behind Willow. She often felt that Willow's various arrangements were very stupid. She didn't think there was a manager who was willing to work with Willow. Now that she had seen it with her own eyes, she knew the truth. It turned out that Willow had signed on such a good manager. No wonder Willow was fearless and did not look worried at all when she arrived in Ivy City. Chris raised his head and sized Honey up. Then, he looked away and couldn't be bothered to look at her anymore. With his keen eyes, he knew at a glance that the woman in front of him would not be able to achieve anything. Her qualifications were too ordinary. Willow, so you signed on Mr. Hunt. Honey was envious, jealous, and inexplicably bitter. Chris was famous for his good resources. 
Willow's future was really limitless. Drake was also extremely surprised and sized Willow up deeply. Honey stood there for a while. She didn't want Willow and Chris to know her schedule. She was afraid that Willow would interfere and delay her acceptance of the endorsement. She didn't have much of an appetite anymore. After getting a cup of coffee, she said, everyone, I'm running out of time. I'm leaving now. Have fun, everyone said behind her. Only then did Honey and Drake rush out. After coming out, Honey's expression had yet to recover. Sister actually signed a contract with Chris. I didn't expect that either. He's such a good manager. No wonder she was able to resolve the few incidents that happened. Even with Howard's incident and her drug addiction incident, she easily took control of the situation. It turns out that there's such a person supporting her. Drake also recalled that even Joshua had given her some face in the hotel back then. It must be because she was Chris's artiste that she enjoyed such an honor. No wonder she ignored his opinions and suggestions now. Since she had signed on Chris, her future development would be limitless. The two of them were lost in their own thoughts for a while. Brother Drake, let's get in the car quickly. Why are you in such a hurry? Drake asked. Yes, I want to see your friends as soon as possible and settle the matter, Honey said, pretending to be relaxed. When I saw Chris, I felt a little threatened. What if he uses all kinds of resources to directly give the endorsement to my sister? It's not that I don't want to see my sister doing well, but I do need some endorsements for the sake of my fans. Chapter 2233. The more Honey spoke, the more pitiful and righteous she became. Sister is in the limelight, and her situation is much better than mine. Otherwise, I would have taken the initiative to withdraw from this competition long ago. Drake understood her current situation and said, you don't have to feel sorry. If Willow were fighting for the endorsement alone, I'd consider showing her mercy. Since she has such a big trump card now, we just have to do our best to fight for it. Anyway, Chris won't let her suffer. Yes, that's good. It's good as long as sister is doing well. Honey clenched her fists. Why did she only know about this now? If she had known that Chris was willing to make a comeback, she would have fought for him earlier. She said worriedly, Chris is here personally. This time, my endorsement. Don't worry. The car brand that's looking for a spokesperson this time is Glory. It's very famous in Ivy City. My friend is in charge of this advertisement. He said that there's basically no problem with this matter. We'll meet him later, and we'll be able to finalize it, Drake said. Honey did not expect this surprise to be so big. Really. I wanted to give you a surprise, but seeing that you're so worried, I might as well tell you directly. This time, the Glory endorsement will definitely be yours. The endorsement fee for Glory is very high, and it'll be for at least a year. Moreover, it'll be advertised all over the country. It'll be very beneficial to your development in Ivy City. Next, the brand plans to enter the market of Averna. Their fame will increase greatly. Brother Drake, you're the best. Comma. The cocktail party was being held tonight. Earlier, the crew of White Fox first went to the cinema to attend a meet and greet with fans. There were many people at the meet and greet, all holding up portraits and posters of the characters in the movie. At the meet and greet, the creators found out that the movie had become so popular in Ivy City. Even Drake couldn't help but say, Indigo, this screenwriter, really has good taste. This time, he obtained all the copyrights and earned at least a billion yuan. There's also the potential for subsequent development. The profits are immeasurable. Honey felt a little regretful. If she had the courage to get the movie rights in the chaos back then. However, there were no ifs. When White Fox was ostracized by Howard, she couldn't wait to escape and didn't want to get involved at all. While feeling a little unwilling, Honey attended the meet and greet. After the meeting ended, everyone arrived at the event location. On the way from the meet and greet to the cocktail party, everyone was very excited. I really didn't expect to have so many fans in Ivy City. Our cultural output this time is really too amazing. The people of Ivy City are quite impressive. They can understand the ancient poems in our movies and understand the underlying meaning. They can also understand some cultural barriers. 
Everyone arrived at the event location. Chapter 2234. However, there were not enough interpreters. After everyone arrived at the event location, they kept raising their glasses and drinking with others while exchanging pleasantries with smiles. Sister-in-law, you can't drink anymore. Go to the side and rest. I'll hold it for you. Chris took her glass. Willow laughed. She couldn't drink. Was that part of Joshua's orders to Chris? She used to drink in the middle of the night without getting drunk. Okay, then I'll go out for a breather. Willow smiled and said, it's all on you now. Don't worry. Willow walked out. The best place in this city was by the sea. At this moment, if one walked out of the main gate and strolled for a few minutes, one would reach the sea. The waves of the sea were surging, and a cold wind blew past her ears. Her long hair fluttered in the wind. She was very content. This area was private territory. The beach was very clean, and there were very few people. After taking a few steps on the sand, Willow felt that the sky was dark and didn't want to continue walking. Actually, she was used to the streetlights and pedestrians that could be seen everywhere in Averna. When she went to other countries, she was a little unaccustomed to these new sights. Seeing that the sky had darkened and the rain was starting to fall, Willow quickened her pace. Willow. A calm male voice sounded from not far away. Willow subconsciously looked in the direction of the voice. Joshua was holding an umbrella and striding toward her. In the darkness, his outline gradually became clear, as if she was seeing a clear figure through the thick fog. For some reason, Willow could not hide the joy in her heart when she saw him under such circumstances. Joshua. She picked up her high heels and walked quickly toward him. She subconsciously felt a little excited. Her footsteps became brisk as she ran toward Joshua. Joshua caught her and reached out to hug her. Willow buried her head in his chest. Thinking of her excitement just now, she couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed. She had always been cold and calm. It seemed that many years had passed since she last displayed such girlish tendencies. She had rushed toward him without hesitation as if he was the light and she was a moth chasing after the light. Joshua also felt her emotions. He hugged her tightly, satisfied with the peace at this moment. Raindrops fell one by one, hitting the umbrella with soft thuds. It was a little like their heartbeats, strong and clear. Why aren't you at the cocktail party? There aren't many people in Ivy City at night, so it's not safe for you to come out. I just wanted to come out for a walk. I was going to go back immediately. Why are you here? It's a business trip. Joshua lowered his head and said, I wanted to see you tomorrow, but the moon tonight is very pretty. Willow looked up and saw the dark umbrella. Even if the man moved the umbrella aside, they would only see a gloomy sky. He probably just meant to say that he missed her. Then walk with me here for a while, Willow said softly. Joshua clasped her fingers and caressed them gently. On the beach, there was wind and rain. But they were light. The black umbrella covered their faces as they held hands and walked slowly on the soft beach. Their figures were compatible and harmonious. Comma. The next morning, when Willow went to the hotel's breakfast buffet, Veronica said in surprise, Willow, why is your skin so good? Really? Your cheeks are rosy. There's no flaw at all. Look at me. I'm getting pimples because I'm not used to the environment. Veronica's manager pointed at her own face. Me too. I drank too much last night and felt so uncomfortable. I couldn't vomit, and I couldn't sleep either. Even my wrinkles have appeared. Tiffany said, me too. I'm not used to this place. I didn't sleep well last night. Veronica said straightforwardly, Willow, tell me quickly what skincare products you use. The entire team could not hide their fatigue. Willow was in the best state, so it was inevitable for her to be envied. Willow said, I'll get little Tiffany to make a list for you. However, she knew in her heart that this might not be because of skincare products. When she stayed with Joshua last night, she had a relaxing time. She was blissful with Joshua. She was even a little afraid now. She was so used to him and relied on him now. What would she do without him in the future? Sister Willow, what are you thinking about? Little Tiffany brought her a cup of coffee. Nothing. 
Let's have breakfast, Willow said when she came back to her senses. Comma. In the publicity department of Glory. As the brand was about to enter the market of Averna, there was a lot of demand for endorsements from artists in Averna. As White Fox continued to become popular after its release, the publicity department targeted the four main actors in White Fox as their spokesperson. At this moment, there was a business evaluation in the publicity department. At the moment, after our comprehensive evaluation, whether it's fame, popularity, or reputation, Willow is at the top. Honey is second, and Oscar is third, the head of the publicity department said. We've bought the analysis reports of the three most authoritative data organizations on the market. They're consistent with our internal analysis. Willow is the best candidate. Does anyone have any suggestions? Everyone looked at each other. No, I think Willow is very good too. Yes, the approval rate of Willow's endorsement in Averna reached 99% after the official announcement. The effect is very good. I agree with choosing Willow. They all nodded. I have an opinion. One of them, Harvey Moore, stood up. He was the general manager in charge of the publicity this time. His status was even higher than the head of the publicity department. Director Moore, please go ahead. I heard that Willow has a lot of scandals. Although they've all been suppressed in Averna, think about it. If she's really clean, why did she leave the industry for five years? Harvey said. I hope everyone will consider this risk and not just believe in data. People are not just made of data. Hearing his words, no one needed to think carefully to know that he did not approve of choosing Willow. In that case, he must have his own opinion. Some people nodded and said, that's right. We do have to consider Willow's personal risks. That's right. I'm against Willow too. The remaining people looked at each other and understood what these people meant. They were just taking advantage of the situation. Harvey was very satisfied with the current situation. However, the head of the publicity department frowned and said, Director Moore, I still think Willow is the most suitable. People are not only made of data, but data will never lie. Chapter 2235. The data can't completely represent one person, Harvey objected casually. In that case, what does everyone think? Harvey asked. Seeing that this was a fight between the higher-ups, no one could express their stance directly. Harvey said calmly, in that case, let's wait until after tonight's brand event before making a decision. There's no hurry. Anyway, the commercial can't be filmed until three days later. Everyone has time to think about it. The head of the publicity department glanced at him but said nothing. Chris quickly received the news. He pondered for a moment and called Joshua. Sister-in-law's data are all the best, but Harvey, who's in charge of this matter, was taken care of by the Lewis family when he was in Averna. He's good friends with Drake, so he's strongly against it. At the moment, someone is in a deadlock with him, so he hasn't made a final decision. The other brands are also waiting. After Joshua heard this, he asked, the person who can make the final decision is Harvey. At the moment, yes. That's why I'm asking if we should talk to Harvey's higher-ups directly. Glory is about to enter the market of Averna. They still need to rely on us. Chris had to admit that in front of Joshua, a company like Glory was nothing. A moment later, Joshua made up his mind. Forget it. Don't use the company's authority to pressure them. Do you think Willow would approve of it? I know that she wouldn't, so I came to discuss it with you. Otherwise, I would have talked to them myself. Willow wants to develop on her own and rely on her own ability to get these things. You and I don't have to interfere. Otherwise, when she finds out in the future, she'll be more shocked than happy. Then I'll let nature take its course and fight for it in the normal way. Yes. Joshua nodded and reached out to massage the space between his eyebrows. He really didn't want Willow to be disappointed because of the endorsement, but he knew her too well. Only when she fought for something with her own strength would she truly have a clear conscience. Chris did not tell Willow about this and arranged for her to attend the brand event tonight as usual. Tonight's brand event is very important. The people in charge of the brands will all be at the event location this time. 
There'll also be some segments to close the distance between us, Chris introduced. After tonight, they'll choose the most suitable spokesperson for them. Got it. Willow nodded. I've specially arranged for an interpreter for you tonight. I'll drive over with you later. Chris took tonight's event very seriously, and Willow also became serious. Tiffany had already tidied up, but she was still worried. She tidied it up again. The admission tickets for me, Sister Willow, Mr. Hunt, and the interpreter, I need to bring lipstick for touch-up. The other assistants were not having an easy time either. They all did one last check. Only Honey looked the calmest. She had already met Harvey, who had promised her that he would be the car brand spokesperson this time. He even showed her his filming plan. As long as she got this endorsement, Honey's performance for the next half a year would be ensured. She glanced at Drake and was satisfied. Love kept growing in her heart. After everyone was done packing, they started to leave one after another. Tiffany accidentally dropped her things, so she bent down to pick them up. Maggie wanted to pull a prank on her, so she randomly picked up an admission ticket and placed it beside the coffee menu. After Tiffany picked up her things and put them in her bag, she turned around and left without paying attention to the ticket. When Honey saw this, she couldn't help but say, Maggie, aren't you too despicable? I was just joking, Maggie said. Are you kidding me? Drake, who had been sending WeChat messages with his head lowered, asked. Maggie quickly glanced at Honey, who said gently, it's nothing. We were just joking. Brother Drake, can we leave now? Sure. Drake's face was full of smiles. Director Moore said that after tonight's event, we'll go to his house to drink. Sure. Honey smiled. Should we bring wine? Then you'll be looking down on him. Then I won't mention it anymore. I'll go over tonight and drink a few bottles of his red wine. Willow walked out and waited for Chris to drive over. The others left one after another. Chris was going to pick up the interpreter first before picking her up. Tiffany stood at the intersection with Willow and waited. Tiffany reached out to touch her bag and felt that there was one less ticket. Her mind buzzed. What's wrong? Sister Willow, one of our admission tickets seems to be missing. It's the admission ticket for the interpreter. Don't worry. Think about it carefully. You might have left it somewhere. Willow glanced at the time. Wait, give me my and Chris's tickets. You keep the rest. I won't accompany you back to look for it. In case there's an emergency later, Chris and I will go in first. Think of a way to meet the interpreter and come in together. Tiffany nodded repeatedly. Okay. She gave the tickets with Willow's and Chris's names on them to Willow before turning around to leave. Don't worry. Call me if you really can't find it, Willow reminded. She knew the language of Ivy City. If it really didn't work out, she could do it without an interpreter. Chris's car had yet to arrive, and little Tiffany was not there either. Willow was alone at the intersection. Suddenly, a car drove over. On the way, it lost control and charged straight at Willow. Fortunately, Willow was very vigilant. When she saw that something was wrong with the car, she quickly dodged. When Willow reacted, she heard a bang. The car hit a big tree by the road. Not knowing who was in the car, Willow did not act rashly. The car window slowly rolled down, and a weak cry for help came from inside. Help, help. It was a woman. She was speaking in the language of Ivy City, so Willow understood. Save my, child, the weak voice continued. Seeing that the situation was not right, Willow immediately went forward. The car door slowly opened, and a pregnant woman was sitting in the driver's seat. Chapter 2236 She said weakly in the language of Ivy City, Please, please send me to the hospital, I'm about to give birth. It turned out that she didn't almost hit Willow on purpose just now. It was just that she couldn't control her body, so the car lost balance. Willow looked around. There was no one. She went forward and moved the pregnant woman to the back seat. She called the police an emergency number in Ivy City. The other party said that they would be there in 10 minutes. Willow reached out to feel the pregnant woman's pulse and found that her condition was very critical, especially since she could not breathe. She urgently needed oxygen. She might not be able to wait for more than 10 minutes. 
Willow's medical skills were very good, but for pregnant women in emergencies, they had to have professional medical equipment. In particular, it was impossible for Willow to get an oxygen tank for her right now. At this moment, she did not have any tools with her, so she had no choice but to send the pregnant woman to the hospital first. Bear with it. I'll send you there right away. Willow comforted the pregnant woman. She checked that the car was still running and immediately started it. As she drove out, she checked where the nearest hospital was. Ah, ah, the pregnant woman kept shouting in pain. Don't worry. Take a deep breath. We'll be at the hospital soon, Willow said in a low voice. In a while, please, call my husband, tell him, if anything happens to me, ask him to take care of, the child, the pregnant woman panted as she handed the phone over. What nonsense are you talking about? Nothing will happen to you. Don't talk anymore. Take a deep breath and maintain stable breathing. Although Willow objected to her, she still took her phone. Encouraged by her words, the pregnant woman opened her mouth and took a deep breath. After driving down this road, there was a red light at a junction. Willow didn't have time to think too much. She rushed past the red light and went forward. There were at least five or six red lights on the way to the hospital. She responded calmly while avoiding the normal cars and pedestrians on the road while determining the direction of the hospital. Her deliberate act of running a red light caused the drivers to be dissatisfied and honk. Willow had no time to care about them. This driver is so arrogant. Someone shouted unhappily. What are you in a hurry for? Record the driver and get someone to expose them. This is too much. This kind of behavior has to be exposed. We have to attract attention to this. Some people picked up their cell phones and filmed this scene. Some even specially drove to follow her, wanting to see who was so arrogant. As they followed, they recorded videos. Willow's attention was all on the road in front of her, and she was unaware of everything that was happening. Five minutes later, the car stopped steadily at the entrance of the hospital. There were emergency doctors and nurses at the door. Willow got out of the car and shouted, please help. A pregnant woman is in critical condition. The emergency doctor and nurse immediately came over with instruments. They went forward to give the pregnant woman oxygen and began the first aid treatment. Willow also went forward to help. At this moment, her phone rang. Willow rejected the call without thinking. The phone rang again, and she continued to press the decline button. She cooperated with the doctor to stabilize the pregnant woman's physical condition, which took 10 minutes. Then, they pushed the pregnant woman into the operating theater for surgery. The family members can wait outside. The emergency doctor saw that she was wearing high heels and a long dress and did not think that she could continue to be of much help. Seeing that the pregnant woman's condition was already under control and there was a doctor who would treat her, Willow walked out. She remembered that she had promised the pregnant woman that she would call her husband. She had been too busy driving to call him just now. The cell phone was in her hand now, but she could not unlock it. As she was thinking, a man rushed in and asked loudly, where's my wife? Where is she? The nurse went forward to confirm his identity. Knowing that he was the husband of the pregnant woman who had just been brought in, the nurse said, your wife is already undergoing an emergency C-section. Fortunately, she was sent here in time. The situation is under control now, so there shouldn't be a big problem. Wait here. Okay. Thank you, thank you. The man's head was covered in sweat, and his hands were trembling. He leaned against the wall as if he could not stand steadily. Willow walked over and handed her the phone. Your wife's phone. You are. The man was confused. I met your wife just now. She was in critical condition, so I took the initiative to send her to the hospital. She told me that if anything happened to her, I should tell you to please take good care of the child. But don't worry, she shouldn't be facing any big problems at the moment. This phone is hers. I'll return it to you. Ah, thank you. The man was very grateful. I'm really sorry. I had to work overtime today. I had already applied for leave to accompany my wife when she was giving birth, but I had something on and couldn't leave, so I let her face it alone. I only rushed over after receiving a call from the hospital. It's all thanks to you.
How about this? I'll give you my number and properly thank you later. Okay. Willow didn't want to get his number, but she was still quite concerned about the pregnant woman's situation. At least this way, she could ask for updates. She handed her phone to the man, who took it. With trembling fingers, he entered a string of numbers and bowed again. Thank you so much. Thank you again. You're welcome. I'll leave first. Willow turned around and walked out. After she went out, her cell phone rang. Sister-in-law, where are you? She heard Chris's anxious voice. He had made countless calls just now, but they were all rejected by Willow. He didn't know what was going on with her, so he asked Tiffany and his assistant, who already found another ticket, to go to the event location first while he stayed behind to wait for Willow. However, he could not contact Willow, so he could only hurry to the event location. However, his ticket was with Willow. The admission check at the event location tonight was very strict. Not only Chris, but even the president of a brand had forgotten to bring his ticket. They had to go back and find them before they could enter. Now that Willow and Chris were not around, Tiffany was left alone, anxious. I encountered something at the last minute and was helping someone. I'll rush over immediately. I'm sorry. Only then did Willow realize that she had caused Chris a lot of trouble. However, when she was saving the woman just now, she did not have time to think about this. Are you okay? Chris asked. He was not worried about anything else. Whether she could get the endorsement or not was a small matter. The key was Willow herself. Just thinking about Joshua's sharp gaze made him feel a chill on his back. Chapter 2237 I'm fine. I'll be right there. Willow's clothes were already stained with blood. It was too late to change now. She had no choice but to go to the washroom to wash her hands and wash the blood off her arms. Comma. At the event location. Today's event was more high-end than the previous few. The presidents of several brands even personally attended the event location. This was an opportunity for brand publicity and a two-way interaction between brands and potential spokespeople. It was also a chance for the brands to observe the spokespeople again. Honey held Drake's arm and entered the venue. The rest of the crew also dressed up and entered the venue. Harvey was the first to walk toward Drake and Honey. He smiled and said, Welcome, little Drake and Honey. Director Moore, I'm so happy to see you again. Drake reached out and shook his hand. You're calling me Director Moore. You're treating me like an outsider. Don't you usually call me Brother Simpson? Harvey teased with a smile. Today's occasion is more formal. It's better for me to call you Director Moore. Harvey also realized this and patted him on the shoulder. Then I'll have to call you President Lewis. After saying that, Harvey looked at Honey. Miss Presgrave, you're indeed a stunning beauty. You're beautiful and generous. You're even more beautiful today than yesterday. You're even more charming than your character in the movie. Director Moore, you're flattering me. Honey smiled gently. A generous and decent artiste like you is really a blessing to the entertainment industry. You're also the most compatible with our Glory brand, Harvey said. Today, the president of Glory will personally come. When the event is almost over, I'll bring the two of you to meet him. Even if he's very picky, I believe he'll be conquered by Miss Presgrave's charm. Thank you, Director Moore. Joy appeared on Honey's face. I still have to receive the others. You two can go ahead. Honey's face was filled with excitement. Several brands' new products were displayed on the stage. As the biggest brand tonight, Glory's latest SUV was already on stage. At that time, the White Fox cast and crew would be invited to take a photo with the merchandise. Seeing that almost everyone was here, the MC was ready to go on stage. Tiffany was anxiously making a call. At the moment, Chris had yet to enter the venue. Willow was still on her way. It was obvious that she would not be able to make it to the event. As one of the two female leads, people had already asked about Willow several times. Tiffany tried her best to explain, but many people were still surprised. Willow was late for such an important event. Did she think that this event was dispensable to her? Tiffany's status was not high enough to explain to more people. She was just a small-time assistant, and many people did not take her existence seriously. 
she could only worry. Honey had already taken notice of the situation and said to Drake, Brother Drake, Chris and sister don't seem to be here. That's right. Drake had noticed it too. There were already people around discussing it. Honey said, could the two of them be? At this point, she quickly covered her mouth. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have made guesses like that. Drake's face fell slightly. He recalled how Chris had been at Willow's beck and call. It was not something a usually arrogant manager could do. It was already very unusual for the two of them to sign a contract and work together. Could they really be in that sort of relationship? Don't talk nonsense. Maybe something happened on the way, Drake said. Honey recalled that Maggie had casually pulled a prank and hid one of Tiffany's tickets. She thought to herself that this was probably the reason. She didn't expect such a casual prank to really make Willow late. It seemed that even after signing a top manager, she was still so-so. Her methods to deal with temporary emergencies were not that much better. Tiffany was waiting at the door when Maggie came back after washing her hands. When she saw her acting like a cat on a hot tin roof, she couldn't help but laugh. Tiffany rolled her eyes at her and ignored her. Maggie shook her head and smiled. Sigh, you guys came for nothing. When I passed by just now, I heard the assistant of a brand's president complaining that you guys are disrespectful. How dare you be late for such an important occasion? It has nothing to do with you. Tiffany said angrily. Mind your own business. Fine, I can't be bothered with you anymore anyway. Maggie shrugged. I'll just wait to watch the show. Veronica walked over and said to Maggie, as a manager, do you think you're in the position to make things difficult for an assistant instead of following your artist? As Honey's manager, Maggie was praised everywhere she went. She was a little unhappy after being scolded by Veronica. This has nothing to do with you, right? Veronica, why do you have to curry favor with Tiffany? Even Willow is wasting her time. Who knows how Tiffany will be scolded tonight? What benefits can you get from standing up for these two? What a joke. Whether I can get any benefits or not is my own business. It has nothing to do with you. You don't know how to appreciate kindness. With that, Maggie turned around and left. Veronica comforted Tiffany. Little Tiffany, don't worry too much. As long as Willow is fine, she can come later. Yes, but I still feel that it's my responsibility. If I hadn't left out the admission ticket, I wouldn't have been separated from Sister Willow and Mr. Hunt. This wouldn't have happened. Tiffany felt so guilty that she was about to cry. Willow definitely won't blame you. Mr. Hunt won't blame you either. Veronica comforted her. Don't cry. If your makeup is smudged from crying, you'll have to touch it up yourself later. You won't be able to care about Willow anymore. Okay. Tiffany held back her tears. Sister Veronica, the event has started. You should hurry up and enter the venue. Okay, then be careful while you're alone out here. Veronica left. An attendant walked up to Drake and Honey and said politely, President Lewis, Miss Presgrave, Director Moore invites you into the venue. Okay, thanks. Drake brought Honey and followed the attendant to where Harvey was. Chapter 2238. Harvey introduced the President of Glory to them. This is Mr. William. Mr. William, these two are President Lewis of Lewis Group and Honey of Presgrave Group. Honey is an artiste, but she handles a lot of family matters too. She's even the general manager of Fusion Entertainment. Mr. William had the outstanding dignity of someone who had been around for a long time. He nodded slightly in greeting. He was polite, but it was impossible to tell if he had any preferences. After exchanging pleasantries, Drake and Honey sat down. When the people around them saw Drake and Honey sitting beside Mr. William, they all knew that Honey should be the spokesperson for Glory this time. Many people looked envious. On the one hand, the fact that Glory was willing to choose a female artiste from Averna meant that it was determined to enter the country's market. On the other hand, it also meant that White Fox was very popular in Ivy City and Averna. It also meant that Honey had already passed the internal test. The people in charge of the makeup, mineral water, and bracelet brands who wanted to choose a spokesperson were also communicating with their assistants. Since Glory chose Honey, we can also choose her. Indeed, once Glory's advertisement is released, Honey's reputation will soar. 
It'll also be good for our brand. Anyway, these few products aren't competitors. Honey can endorse all of them. After the people in charge of the few brands received the data, they were originally biased toward Willow. However, when they saw the situation at the event location, they began to change their minds. There were even people who guessed that Willow might already know that she had failed to be chosen as Glory's spokesperson, so she simply skipped the event tonight. As the activities on the stage continued, Honey and the other members of the production team went up the stage to show their figures and impeccable smiles. They then returned to the audience and sat down. Seeing the rare smile on Mr. Williams' lips, Honey was finally relieved. Maggie leaned close to her ear and whispered, Honey, I've asked the interpreter to ask around. Now, everyone is hoping that you'll endorse all the brands. It looks like you'll definitely get all the endorsements tonight. Really, Honey did not look ecstatic. She knew that many people were looking at her, so she maintained her composure very well. Yes, this interpreter is very good. He got a lot of inside information. I reckon that after the event ends, Glory will look for you to sign a contract. Honey nodded. Continue to ask around. Comma. The car stopped. Willow, who was wearing a long dress, got out of the car. There was a faint metallic smell on her body. Willow briefly explained the matter. I broke my high heels. They're here. I've already washed the blood off my skin, but there's nothing I can do about the blood on my clothes. I don't have time to change. Chris couldn't help but give him a thumbs up. You're so brave. How's the pregnant woman? I haven't heard from anyone yet. Let's not care about the pregnant woman anymore. Let's enter the venue first, Willow said and handed her high heels to Chris. Think of a way to break the heels off completely. I really don't have much strength left. Chris took them, snapped the heels off, and handed them back to her. Willow couldn't help but laugh. You're quite strong too. She put on the shoes that had become flats. They were quite convenient for her to walk in. When they entered the venue, the host said, Now, let's invite the actors and actresses from the production team of White Fox Willow, Honey, Oscar, and Veronica to come up on stage together and take photos with Glory's new car. Honey lifted the hem of her dress and walked onto the stage under everyone's gaze. Oscar and Veronica followed. So, Miss Willow, isn't here yet. We won't wait, before the host could finish speaking, the door opened and the lights focused in the direction of the person. Standing at the door was Willow. She was wearing a light green velvet dress, but it looked wet. It seemed to be blood or water, making her look a little embarrassed. However, she raised her head slightly, and her eyes were filled with confidence as she walked toward the stage. Everyone at the event location looked at her. This was the easiest place to show fear, but her expression was calm and indifferent as she walked gracefully to the front of the stage. The presidents and people in charge of several brands couldn't help but frown when they looked at Willow. Clearly, they had a problem with her being late. In particular, there was already dirt and creases on her dress. It was really rude to appear on such an occasion like this. She wasn't presentable. The host was a little surprised to see Willow, but he quickly composed himself. Miss Willow, welcome. I'm sorry, everyone. I had something to do today and arrived late to the event. I hereby express my sincere apology to everyone present. Willow bent down slightly and apologized to everyone. She actually spoke the language of Ivy City fluently. Honey's pupils trembled slightly. Willow had actually secretly trained. She wanted to curry favor with the people of Ivy City through this method. With Willow's fluency, the people present had a better impression of her. Mr. William asked Harvey, do you know what's going on with Willow? Mr. William nodded indifferently as if he already had a plan in mind. Seeing his expression, the others all knew that Willow was really done for this time. The host maintained order and let everyone interact with Glory's new car so that the reporters could take photos. Honey was the first to go up. She posed very sweetly to show her gentle and beautiful side. Oscar and Veronica maintained the standard pose for taking photos. After Honey finished getting her photos taken, she looked at Willow confidently. The smile on her lips became even sweeter and more harmless. Willow calmly walked to the front of the car and stretched out her slender fingers to place them on the car. 
The most exquisite thing about Glory's newest car was the paint. The texture was extraordinary. When Willow's fingers landed on it, they looked like jade. They did not lose their brilliance because of the paint. Instead, they seemed to complement each other. Chapter 2239 The reporters kept taking photos, and the cameras lit up. Everyone stood up to exchange pleasantries and prepare for their positions. Harvey said to Drake, let's go to my house for a drink later. I might have to give you the contract tomorrow. Okay. Drake nodded. Honey was overjoyed. Honey, accept a few more interviews, Harvey said. It'll be good for your popularity. Honey was naturally willing. She was about to go over when she saw all the reporters surrounding Willow. Brother Drake, what's going on over there? Honey found it very strange. Was Willow so popular? How could she attract so much attention even though she was late? Or had Chris arranged a special interview for her? Would Chris's power affect her car endorsement? She looked up at Drake worriedly. Drake could tell that she was worried. He held her hand and patted it gently. It's okay. Director Moore said he'll help us, so he definitely will. Honey looked over and heard the reporters asking something. She did not understand the language of Ivy City and could only worry. Drake translated for her. The reporters are asking Willow if she raced upon arriving in Ivy City. Is it true that she did not abide by the traffic rules of Ivy City and ran red lights? Many people have taken videos of her running a red light, and some took photos of her when she finally got out of the car. They can confirm that it was her. Can she explain it to everyone present? Or did she run many red lights in order to rush to the event? Does she not take the matter seriously? Does she do the same in Averna? After Drake finished translating, he frowned tightly. He immediately clicked on a social media website in Ivy City and found that the videos of Willow running red lights had already become the number one trending topic. The videos were very blurry, and it was difficult to see clearly that it was her. However, the car she was driving was captured, and then someone saw her get out of a car with the same license plate, so they could confirm that it was her. There were no fans in the comments section, so it had already become a battlefield. This is the female lead of White Fox, right? Her character is terrible. Did anyone get hurt? Oh my, how dare such a person be an artiste? Please don't invite such a moral female artiste to our country in the future, okay? Honey listened to Drake's translation, and she also watched the videos on his phone. Although she could not understand the comments, she could roughly guess what was going on. It turned out that Willow was really late today. She pretended to be regretful and said, Sigh, what's wrong with sister? Since she knew about such an important event, why didn't she go out earlier? What should we do now? Will she be scolded badly? Let her own team handle it, Drake said after weighing the pros and cons. He pointed at the car Willow was driving in the videos and said, Do you see that? She's driving Glory's newest car. If I speak up for her, I might offend Glory. Honey also realized this. It turned out that the car Honey was driving when she ran red lights was from Glory. In other words, Willow and Glory were incompatible. This car endorsement was destined to be Honey's. I wonder if Sister can solve this problem. She asked softly. Drake thought for a while. Chris is so capable. He should be able to protect Willow. Ahem. Let's go look for Director Moore, then. Let's go. Drake held Honey's hand and planned to leave. Just as they were about to leave, they heard Willow talking and stopped in their tracks. Faced with the reporters, many questions, Willow explained briefly and said, it's my fault that I'm late today. But I have to explain myself against the claims that I endangered public safety. Immediately, she explained briefly that she had to send a pregnant woman to the hospital. Time was tight, so she had no choice but to run red lights. The reporters were skeptical. Really? Do you have any evidence? May I ask who can confirm this? You can't say that without evidence, right? Since you sent the pregnant woman to the hospital, the pregnant woman should be able to help you prove it, right? After hearing Drake's translation, Honey said, did sister really send a pregnant woman to the hospital? Drake didn't say anything. Willow had already picked up her cell phone and dialed the number of the pregnant woman's husband. 
As long as he could help her prove it, everything tonight could be resolved. This is the number of the pregnant woman's husband. After the pregnant woman was sent to the operating theater, he gave me his number. I'll call him now, Willow said. When the reporters saw her make the call, they slowly began to believe her. After all, no one would casually lie about such a big matter. Such lies could be easily exposed. If it was true, wouldn't everything be reversed again? She looked at Willow nervously and bit her lip. No way. Could Willow really snatch the car endorsement this way? Willow's call went through. She turned on the speaker mode, and a man's voice quickly came from the other end. Hello, who are you looking for? Hello, I'm the lady who sent your wife to the hospital today. Sir, can you help me? Who are you? Did you get the wrong number? I'm not married at all. Willow was surprised. Sir, don't make any more calls, or I'll sue you for harassment, the person on the other end said fiercely and hung up. This change completely exceeded Willow's expectations. She was stunned. She had always handled things in an orderly manner and did not expect such a change. The reporters below the stage had already heard the man's words and were immediately agitated. Willow, he doesn't know you. What are you pulling? Are you sure you helped a pregnant woman? You're not lying, are you? Who else can prove it for you now? Willow, perhaps you should make an apology if you want to be forgiven. You shouldn't come up with more lies to cover up. The reporter's words began to sound aggressive. Chapter 2240 Drake translated a few words for Honey. Only then did Honey relax. She found it strange that Willow would lie openly. This did not seem like her usual style. Drake couldn't figure out if it was because Willow had signed with Chris. Was this a new persona that Chris had created for her? Was she going to go crazy? This route was very difficult. She might even be scolded by tens of thousands of people. He watched Willow stand in the middle of the stage, where the reporters were making things difficult for her. He really wanted to go forward and say a few words for her. However, seeing that Chris was also here, he gave up and held Honey's hand before leaving. Honey was overjoyed. Willow was doomed tonight. At this moment, Willow's lie was also widely known on social media. Even people from many other countries were discussing this matter. For a moment, Willow became the laughing stock of the entire internet. Willow did not panic. She was very calm. I can verify it with the hospital. But the reporters were about to lose their patience. Chris was on the phone when Joshua's calm voice came from the other end of the line. The hospital and the police can testify for Willow immediately. Stabilize the reporters at the event location. Understood, Chris said immediately. Reporters. Chris stood beside Willow. Although we haven't contacted the pregnant woman's family, we've already contacted the hospital and the police. Perhaps they know better than us what Willow did. He opened his social media account and checked the situation. Sure enough, the police and the hospital had already posted a statement and video to clarify. He said loudly, everyone, please check what the hospital has posted first. Although the reporters wanted to leave, they also wanted to get first-hand information. They immediately turned on their cell phones. Sure enough, they saw the hospital's statement. Today, a woman sent a pregnant woman in critical condition to our hospital. After the doctor's full resuscitation, the pregnant woman has been saved. She and the child are in stable condition now. The emergency doctor at the scene thinks that this woman's escort was very timely and correct. If she had been a minute later, the pregnant woman might have been met with misfortune and two lives would have been lost. Although we don't advocate running red lights, we understand that it was an emergency when lives were at stake. We also thank this woman for her righteous act. Initially, this woman didn't leave behind any personal information. We only found out that she was Miss Willow through the reminder of the netizens. We're deeply sorry for the doubts that Miss Presgrave is currently facing. We're deeply grateful for her righteous actions today. Please stop criticizing Miss Presgrave for her unintentional mistake. What followed was a statement from the police. They reposted the hospital's statement and wrote, We can confirm that although Miss Presgrave ran red lights today, it was indeed the fastest way to reach the hospital. 
We've also confirmed with the hospital the necessity of Miss Presgrave running red lights. We've decided to exempt Miss Presgrave from traffic punishment. The police also attached footage from the surveillance cameras. From the car accident taking place to Willow moving her to the back seat, driving to the hospital, and to helping the emergency doctor take care of the pregnant woman at the entrance of the hospital, the series of actions took only a few minutes. It was precisely because of these few minutes that the pregnant woman and child had gained a precious chance to survive. Wow. The reporters were the first to cry out in shock. Willow's driving skills in the surveillance cameras were really too cool. As it was the complete footage, it was completely different from the short clips captured by the netizens. Moreover, through the footage, it could be seen that although Willow had run red lights, she was also trying her best to avoid other cars and pedestrians. She tried her best not to delay others' schedules and affect the safety of others. The direction of the comments also changed. The hospital and the police have come out to speak. So this is the true Willow. She's so cool. Her driving skills shocked my entire family. Willow is really capable. She's good at martial arts in the movie, and she's also so impressive in the real world. I'll be your fan for the rest of my life. I take back my words just now. Miss Presgrave, please forgive my recklessness. In the future, we should wait for clarification before we dare to come to a conclusion. We almost wronged a good person. Honey is the best. The reporters also felt bad and said, we're sorry, Miss Presgrave. So this is what happened. We misunderstood you. We're really sorry. Willow said calmly, the ignorant or innocent. The evidence I took out just now was indeed insufficient. Now that everyone knows the truth, please clarify it for me. I definitely don't want to bear an undeserved reputation for what I didn't do. Okay, Miss Presgrave, we definitely will. Chris said in a low voice, fortunately, Boss reacted quickly and contacted the hospital and the police in time. Otherwise, it would be a little late to clarify things tomorrow. When Willow heard Joshua's name, her heart warmed. She had indeed not thought too much about this matter. Fortunately, he was around. Sister-in-law, everything has been resolved. Let's go, Chris said. Is Miss Willow here? Someone asked loudly. Miss Willow, I'm the husband of the pregnant woman today. When the reporters heard this, they quickly turned to look at the person who spoke. They only saw a man in his thirties rushing over. He looked a little haggard and anxious. Miss Willow. He ran straight over. Willow recognized him. He was the husband of the pregnant woman who had given her his phone number today. However, his voice seemed to be different from the person who received the call just now. Miss Willow. The man ran closer and panted. My wife has already given birth, and the child is safe now. Thank you for your help today. Congratulations. But I don't think you gave me the right number just now. Willow asked. Yes, I was in the ward when I saw the news. My family members showed it to me. That's when I realized you had called me. But the person on the other end of the line wasn't me. I was wondering if I had left you the wrong number because I was too nervous while waiting for my wife to give birth. After I told my wife, she asked me to come to the event location immediately. Fortunately, I arrived in time and met your assistant. She let me in. Willow finally understood why there was such a misunderstanding. When he entered the number, his fingers were indeed trembling. Perhaps he was too nervous and got the numbers wrong. At that time, Willow did not pay much attention to it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.